Welcome back to KMOT First News at 6. I'm John Jacklin. A week ago today, the District 11 and 12 champions were crowned and the eight-team Region 6 bracket came into shape. The tournament got underway this afternoon at the Minot Auditorium. First match of the day, District 12 champ South Prairie Max facing TGU. Royals lead a one set to zero, but TGU putting a bit of a run together. This kill is from Ayana Jager. South Prairie Max hitters attacking every inch of the auditorium court. Here's Skyler Beck striking this ball right down the sideline as the top seed begins to pull away. All in all, Royals show no rust or hangover from the District 12 title. They cruise into the semis with a sweep of the Titans. Second game of the day, District 12 runner-up or er, District 12 runner-up Ned Rose against Deluxe Burlington Lakers on the cusp of an opening set win. Ava Brown makes it a double-digit lead. They claim the first set, but the Cardinals come out strong in the second with three aces and a 4-0 lead. This was the one non-aces. Lily Nelson gets two hands up for the block, but DLB made sure that the run was only a run. Back up middle blocker Micah Fakin. Whips a swing into the back corner and the Region 6 semifinal will be a District 12 semifinal rematch between South Prairie Max and Delax Burlington. Rugby versus Surrey and Our Redeemers versus Botno are the night games. I made a mistake earlier in this game. Ned Rose was the District 11 runner-up. First two matches also in the books at the Region 8 tourney in, at Williston State College. District 16 champ and 7th ranked team in the state, Kenmer Bowbells, sweeps Alexander and Ray sweeps partial. In college sports now, Minot State women's soccer advanced to the NSIC tournament semifinals with a 1-0 win against Augustana in Sioux Falls. The six-seeded Beavers upset the three-seeded Vikings on a goal scored by Minot native Brooklyn Casey in the 74th minute, assisted by Maria Pacheco Martinez. Minot State outshot Augie 18 to 6, and MSU goalkeeper Siriana Gudino contributed four saves. Minot State will face two-seeded Concordia St. Paul in the semifinals Friday in Mankato. Minnesota State Mankato is the host of the remaining games as the top seed remaining. We'll be right back. 